Um, despite the best intentions of donors from all over the world, you see broken community water points everywhere in Africa. They're a problem that simply won't go away. As this Guardian article from 2016 bluntly points out, as many as 40% of the community water points in Africa aren't working, a statistic that has barely changed in years, despite millions of pounds being spent on repairs. While many factors contribute to this situation, one of the most glaring is the lack of a relationship between the person paying for the repair and the person receiving it. Because most repairs are funded by NGOs, most are carried out by subcontractors, and almost all are delivered to communities who have very little say, which together creates an extraordinarily perverse incentive. If you earn your living repairing pumps, you have a vested interest in repairing them well enough to satisfy the NGO that's paying you, but not so well that they don't break down again, because you need them to break down again so that you can get more work repairing them. That's how you stay in business. Pump Aid takes a different approach. We train mechanics like Maria here, and we encourage them to create businesses that make money not just from repairing pumps, but by offering maintenance contracts on pumps that have already been repaired. Properly maintained, a community pump can operate successfully for 10 or more years. And as Maria demonstrates, the parts most frequently that wear out, the hanger pins, the rod centralizers, bobbins and seals, can all be accessed from above ground and are therefore relatively cheap and easy to replace. As with almost anything mechanical, replacing cheap parts early can prevent expensive parts ever needing to be replaced at all. And because the fewer times a pump breaks down, the fewer times they have to visit, maintenance contracts give our mechanics a vested interest in doing their work well. And not only that, because our mechanics work directly for the community that owns the pump, the community is now no longer a beneficiary, but is now a customer. And like all customers, it has the right to refuse to pay if work is not done properly. Pompey believed it was delivering a solution that could finally solve the problem of water point functionality, an approach that had won it the International Aid and Development Award, as well as a number of others. And then along came COVID-19. Malawi has so far confirmed just 455 cases of COVID-19, but the virus is in its infancy, predictions are dire, and while London has 1,500 critical care beds, Malawi has just 25. So a non-clinical response to COVID-19 is Malawi's only option, and the most successful non-clinical response worldwide is hand washing. But in Malawi, Hand washing is seriously hampered by the 40% of water points that aren't working. And at the time when pump repairs are so essential, rural communities in Malawi are having to choose between two conflicting priorities. Right now, it's the dry season and families will be living off the crops they harvested in April and May. But it won't start raining again until October. And food shortages are common at the end of the season when crops run out and people are forced to rely on imported food. The government has closed the country's borders, and the fear is that this will make any imported food very expensive. So families are saving their money to pay for food at a time when they should be paying for it to increase their access to water. So, for the duration of the pandemic, Pump Aid is changing its approach. Working with the district water officers in central Malawi, We've identified 500 broken water pumps where the costs of repair are around £300, which is far higher than a rural community can afford. And we want to offer these communities free repairs in return for them taking out an annual maintenance contract with one of our mechanics, which is around £200 is much more affordable. £300 will buy all the spare parts needed to repair these broken water pumps pay for all the local mechanics time and travel, the costs of water quality testing and hygiene promotion, and also provide PPE for our mechanics and soap and chlorine for their customers. Pump Aid will take no money from this program except for the cost of materials, transport and accommodation, because the Department for International Development has agreed to pay the salaries and overheads of our field team while they oversee this emergency repair program. So every 300 pounds you raise tonight, will pay directly for a broken water point to be repaired. 
and increase the resistance of another community in Malawi to this dreadful disease. Please give us all you can.